Reaper player who's playing against this other guy. And this is back in Brawl when huh? chain grabbing was, you know, a thing. And whenever you chain grab, you would just scream in his ear. <laughs> he was just like, ah, trying to get him to mess up. Uh, that's that's the counterplay for uh, for Karam when he's off stage. In what? It, Palu? Wait, 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 Palu. Palu? Uh, I, need, I forgot about his Palu. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, let's see if there was a reason we forgot about it. That's a goddess of light. All right. <laughs> Is this, I, I, you know, this could be like one of those sort of today I will remind them moments. <laughs> we Palus never went away. We were just in training. But yeah, no, like. Uh, Eliakim right now has double the percent. So, like... Ooh, boy. Yeah. Things looking pretty good for Ace, although he did not punish that spot dodge. Just didn't react to it in time. And uh, he got... Okay. Yeah, sure. Snake, you know, cut himself. Hit. <laughs> that was oh. a two frame. <laughs> take those? <laughs> I'm loving the use of tilts right now from Eliakim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, like you'll notice, like, especially down tilt, because down oh, tilt is this big range. Tilt. Yeah, yeah, like you can use the tilt to kill, but also down tilt is this range that like Palu likes to land at. Yeah, yeah, like it's a like I gotta say, Lycam is like adapting very well here. Like, you know, he had, may have been rough for like the first maybe you know there were forty five seconds of the set of the game, but like he's really picking up. Okay. Alright, like, like yeah, Lycam is like getting a, is getting a Oh That was I love that. He was so patient, just going back and forth, back and forth, just waiting for Ariel to, to, to commit to an explosive flame like that. Yeah, yeah, like being the both players are like playing very, very carefully. Like, this isn't this isn't just like a oh just go ham type thing. It's like this is like they're playing they're playing a game of chess oh here. My God, yeah, and you could see that Ace actually rolled his reeled his head back after that. He knows that that was a really bad stock to drop. He now has to figure out how to kill him without any rage. And this is he's still sitting at three stocks here. Yeah, this is rough. Oh, we got like. sticky. Oh, he has the C4 on him. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy. This is a rough time for uh, Ace right now. Like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's like if it was the tech or just like like him just going just like playing like yeah, play, like going like king me. Yeah, I, I, honestly, it feels like I like him is just playing really well to the tiny mistakes that Arrow was making. These little whiffs, little miss spacings. He's just, you know, oh, commitments yeah. like that. He's just, oh, he's just ready for it. He, yeah, oh, right against the screen. Yeah, that's a, that's a JV3 stock coming out from Eliakim. I understand the thought process of trying out the Palu, but I think probably we're going to be seeing a character swap as we move into game two. Yeah, like I, lo I, lo I say, I'm actually a big fan of Pyro. I don't play her, but I just like the character, like in, in Tinker's Uprising. But like, definitely, like I respect Aaron for trying the Palu, but I don't. It was, it was definitely a bit of, there. I see that. I, yeah, you see him. He's deciding. He's thinking. He isn't. Oh, yet. but he doesn't want to do it. Look at that face. He that's the face of a man <laughs> that's gripped with pre-regret. <laughs> It's Aaron, just like, Aaron. I am 20 minutes from now, I'm going to be so sad. <gasps> no way. No, oh, no. Ness would be actually, yeah, oh. I know he does have a Ness. I know he had a Ness. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess All right, he no. might have like a sort of Ness, but Ness would be kind of cool because he can absorb the uh, grenade explosions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could. All right, but he went for the Bayo. Okay. Like, I, yeah, this, this is a match that could literally never happen in Smash 4. <laughs> I always thought those kind of matches interesting in this game. Like, I'm pretty sure there were some modded Wii U's back in the day. Mods? <laughs> yeah, you didn't the, the snake Captain Falcon skin. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. But, um, oh. All right, we got a. I we, hold on a second. Yeah. I guess the grenade that's just sitting there doesn't trigger witch time, which is kind of interesting. Oh, I didn't even know that. I I think I think that's what I thought. We just saw that, so I could be wrong. We might see that come into play later on, but that means he has to time his witch times with the explosion, which is kind of rough. Yeah, yeah. Like speaking of kind of rough. <laughs> If they did get it, though, it would be pretty wicked. Okay. All right, got some good damage on yeah, there. Like that's good damage, but like if you I, just get if you get a wish time and then here comes the giant fist, like. But at the same time, like I, I feel that Eliakim is playing well around that specifically. He hasn't really put himself in a position where it's like, oh yeah, no obvious witch time. Uh. Yeah, yeah, like, 
Yeah, no, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I think I like him. Like he knows that. Like if he starts getting witch time, it's gonna be it's not gonna be his time. <laughs> but um, no. He's oh, like, like right oh. there. Yeah. Man, yeah, no, he's yeah two stocks up. Boy, arrow is this arrow is having a rough time. This is uh go around. Yeah, and this is sort of thing where like. Yeah, nice damage. Oh, okay, actually, he closes out the stock. Yeah, I guess forward air at the top of the screen at 180 will be not be enough to do it, but... Yeah, yeah, but, like, definitely Arrow has a lot of ground to make up. He does He does always have the potential of doing a Nutty Bayo thing. It's going to be extra hard on Snake because he's a lot of the time he's going to be holding a grenade, meaning that there's, like, a ticking time bomb on any type of combo he would do. Um, but nonetheless, you know, if he catches him unawares, I feel like that's... That's kind of the win condition at this point. If Ace gets some nasty combo that leads to a stock. Yeah, like, oh, and Eliakim's got the 69% too. Ah, and he's just crouching, just like crawling back and forth, dude. It's he doesn't He doesn't want to lose the number. He knows it to helps. <sighs> yeah, is Ace going to even be able to touch him one more time? Oh, uh, the wish time, but uh, not so... Uh, and Mark got so hot, folks. Just oh. a little too steep. Oh, here he comes dead? the giant fist! <gasps> oh, it didn't actually finish him, though, and that's that's so massive. If we did see that stock dropping, there is a line, you know? That's not a Max Rage Bayo. That's pretty scary. Uh, but oh, at this point, he needs to find another crazy... Yeah, read. And yeah, 157%. That's, uh... But you notice that Lycan's getting hit a lot more now that he's not at the percent anymore. Um, that's true, yeah. But yeah, that's... that. Uh, regardless, not gonna matter. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that matchup that matchup seems rough on